one. Please excuse the quality. Um, I try to use this camera that I've purchased that I haven't used yet really and it is shocking quality. So we switch halfway through to uh, my phone, my regular recording and it gets much better but we're going to use Madame Glam products. We're going to use Ballerina, Perfect White, Perfect Black, Perfect Yellow, Perfect Orange yellow cab and no maps you can save 30 percent my code is in the top left little nail room 30 but i hope you're all okay we've had like a bizarre out of nowhere heat wave just hit us uh, and it's it's flipping scorching it is so so warm it's lovely though it's really really nice it's not like the super super hot where you can't breathe we have that and we don't want that again <laughs> But it, no, it's really, really nice. It's supposed to be September time for like falling leaves. You know, they're turning orange, turning yellow, red, brown. Um, we're getting close to Halloween. We want to feel Halloweeny, don't we? I do, definitely do. But we were given a challenge um, in the Charlie Snell Art collab weekly co weekly collab. The theme was butterflies. And whenever I think of a butterfly nail art, I always think of pinks and purples and pretty colours, like really summery spring colours. And I wanted to do something that was like turning into autumnal, fall colours. Um, and I was like, hang on, we don't have to do pink butterflies, we can do the monarch butterfly. He's like perfect for autumn he's got the oranges and the yellows the reds and the browns he's just perfect so we have grabbed ballerina gorgeous nude and that is on the thumb the middle and the ring and then perfect orange on the index and the pinky gonna do two coats on all of them and get designing i'm thinking as well of holding um a back to school sale on my website i'm thinking 30 percent off we did a 25 percent off for the whole of august um but i think we deserve a little bit extra so i'm going to do a 30 percent off for the whole of september so i will leave in the description box tomorrow what the code will be because i'm gonna to have to go and do it tonight basically once the video is up because it's tuesday for me when the video is up tomorrow, there will be a link in the description box with um, a link to my site and the code that you need to get the 30% off. And we've got a few Halloween designs on there and a few autumnal designs on there. And on Friday, I'm going to be adding this design and a couple of others that we've done over the week. Um, yeah, exciting times. But yeah, I apologise for the, the, the dodgy. It just wants to focus and then unfocus and then focus and unfocus. Oh, it's so annoying. But I've, I've done an orange French. You'll see in a minute the quality difference in three, two, one. Look at that. I don't know why I brought a bloody camera. My phone's great. I'm sure it'll come in handy for other bits and bobs. Um, so we've done that French, an orange French on the thumbnail. And then I outlined it with like a nice thick black. I'm not sure if I showed you on camera. Um, but I put some little white dots, tiniest white dots along that black line. Um, and then for the index and the pinky, the full orange ones. There's a fly or something in here. I can hear it. Buzz. Oh my God, it's a daddy long legs. I may have to evacuate the room. Oh gosh, I hate them. Um, what was I saying? The orange ones. Uh, I've put a base coat on and I've got this glow in the dark. Red hexagonal wool glitters. Glitter, sorry. Um, from Charlie's Nail Art Supplies. You can save 10% as well using my code NAILROOM10. That'll be in the top left corner. And it glows in the dark. How amazing is that? Um, so we're going to test that out once it's on the nail at the very end. And I think the daddy long legs has got closer to me. Oh, he's hanging with one leg from my ceiling. He can stay there for sure. All right, so I've grabbed the... It's called Finger Art, but when I first started YouTube, a lovely lady called Stephanie, she, she thought it was 
spell it, it, she oh, I can't speak she thought it said finger ant and every time I get it out of the drawer to use because it's just a little catch-all for glitter and acrylic and bits and bobs and I get it out and I read finger ant every single time and it makes me chuckle so Stephanie if you still watch it's still definitely called finger ant in my opinion <laughs> So I've just put a little bit of that glitter on the two orange nails. I'm not, like I don't want it to cover all of it. I don't want it to be all caked in the glitter. I want it to just have like a smattering kind of. Um, and then we're going to cure that and base coat it again, give it a buff just to kind of smooth it all out. And then they just need to be top coated and they're done. Um, the two middle fingers... The middle of the ring sorry we're gonna do a butterfly like half a butterfly on each one so i'll do the left one first like the left wing which will be the middle finger um and i didn't really i think i drew it out first let me see yes i did i drew it out first um kind of how i wanted it to go i wanted to put lots of crystals on it but I didn't make the black like the outline thick enough to put more crystals on so if I'm gonna do it again or if you guys do it definitely do the black bit nice and thick and whack a load of crystals on because it looks bloody gorgeous and I'm not a butterfly expert so I don't know if this is the correct anatomy of a butterfly but the top wing and the bottom wing i'm going to do the bottom wing slightly smaller obviously because of the the tip of the nail gets smaller doesn't it unless you're doing like really long square or whatever um but i think it turned out quite nice the shape of it i liked it and then i've got a little trick for if you're doing something like this and you want to do like the opposite of something on another nail line them up while that one's still wet the black is still wet if you touch it you can see where you need to go genius but then i just kept on referring back to the left one to make sure that it was kind of staying on the right track and the right shape sort of thing so i've grabbed yellow cab and perfect yellow they weren't quite right for what i wanted so i've mixed them together and i'm just what's what's the shape like a long teardrop just just a brush stroke essentially like you were doing a drip put the, the bigger blob and then drag it I, I don't know if that makes sense or not once that's cured fill all the rest in in perfect orange and give that a cure and then i do go in with no maps on a really really fine brush um but you kind of want to blend it out almost so if i was to do this again i would put the orange down that i'm doing now but then not cure it and then put the no maps around the outside like here and kind of blend it into the orange a little bit and maybe blend it into the yellow a little bit as well like so they were all wet but really 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 like my butterfly when it was finished i loved it but i'm just going to whisk through this um and i did add some white dots to the black bit of the butterfly as well um and a couple of crystals like i said i couldn't fit a lot on i didn't make the black big enough and i'd already spent a long time <laughs> doing all the hand painting of the butterfly wings so i was like you know what it's just having the crystals that i can fit on there and that is it
So I also wanted to incorporate these from Charlie's Nail Art Supplies. So it's a pack of two yellow butterflies and they are just the cutest. So I know they're not orange, but we've used yellow and black and we've got a sparkly glitter just like the butterfly. So I thought it would incorporate quite well, tie in quite nicely. So I've used, was this ice cream sundae? So I've only used two, like two crystals from it. Um, the tiniest, tiniest, like pinky red ones that they had in there. And then I've got two random ones and a couple of caviar beads and it's done. I really hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, let me know what you thought in the comments. Don't forget to check the description box for all links and bits and bobs. Don't forget to hit the like button and it would be a pleasure. No, it would be <laughs> not a pleasure. It'd be a pleasure for you. No, um, it would be very, very, very grateful. Gratefully, I oh, can't even talk. It'll be gratefully received. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. Hit the subscribe button. I'll love it. Thanks. See you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.